Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this Sunday morning on this first day of October, 2023, with a scripture reading from Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 through 34. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, they neither sow nor reap, nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you by worrying add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things, and indeed your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. That's our scripture reading today from Matthew. And Please join me now, if you will, for a time together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you for the nourishment that you provide us. Thank you for meeting our physical, mental, and spiritual needs of hunger and thirst. Forgive us for taking that simple joy for granted, and bless all those kinds of nourishment to fuel our bodies forward and to your will for our lives. We pray that we will be energized and be able to work for the glory of your kingdom today as we go out into it. Please keep all your children safe as well that are traveling today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow morning as well. I hope you all have a great Sunday today. Make sure to tune to our worship service as well at 11. And have a great first day of October.